Hello, my name is Ladanya, and I'm going to be doing a presentation today on warning signs and prevention of adolescent suicide. Helping one person might not change the world, but it could change the world for that one person. I found this quote on Google. I thought it would fit into um, the subject of suicide, and to me, this was just saying that someone can definitely help that one person who is thinking about it. You can't save the whole world, but you can save one person at a time. Suicides among young people continue to be a serious problem. Suicide is the third leading cause of death among eight, those ages 15 to 24. New Jersey generally has one of the lowest suicide rates in the nation, but like the rest of the country, has experienced a steady increase in the last 15 years. Every day, on average, 2.2 New Jersey residents die by suicide. For every New Jersey resident, there is another 5.5 inpatient hospitalizations or emergency room discharges for non-fatal suicide attempts and self-inflicted injuries. Thoughts about suicide and suicide attempts are often associated with depression. In addition to, uh, excuse me, in addition to depression, other risk factors include family history of suicide attempts, exposure to violence, aggressive and disruptive behavior, access to firearms, feeling of hopelessness and helplessness, acute loss or rejection. And a lot of times at this age, kids um, feel rejected because they might be in a relationship and they might have broken up. Um, and a lot of times you just got to work with uh, the adolescents if they're going through something like this and let them know that it is okay to feel this way. There are multiple dimensions of suicidal behavior, including the possible causes, motives, personal and interpersonal consequences following suicidal attempts by our youth, which may include, but is not limited to, the following factors. Social media, bullying or cyberbullying, online and in, a in person, sexual identity issues, social pressure, drug and alcohol access, mental struggle, low self-esteem, and history of physical and sexual abuse. Among teenagers, suicide attempts may be associated with signs and symptoms due to being stressed, having self-doubt about who they are, peer pressure from their friends, feeling depressed and having anxiety, and that might include anxiety and depression from school, maybe schoolwork, um, not being picked for uh, uh, activity, or not having friends, feeling lonely, um, health problems and disabilities. And a lot of people need to realize that sometimes um, just having a disability itself can cause someone to feel um, like they want to commit suicide. For some teens, suicide may seem like a solution to their problem, and we both know, or we all know, that this is not true. Suicide is not um, the solution to a problem. Getting help from the right people is, and also having support. Prevention of suicide starts with recognizing warning signs of suicidal tendencies, which can include the following. Changes in eating and sleeping habits, sadness, agitation, rebellious behavior, withdrawal from friends, family, and regular activities. Um, a lot of times you have someone, all of a sudden, they usually be up and active, they are sleeping, they moving around the house, they're not doing too much, they're not uh, being with their friends anymore, they're not as active. So these are different characters and signs and symptoms of, of somebody that you know that usually don't act this way that you can look out for. Uh, frequent complaints about physical symptoms often related to emotions such as stomach ache, headaches, and fatigue is another warning sign. All of a sudden now they have a headache all the time or a stomach ache or they're not wanting to go to school. Uh, not only are they being rebellious, but now they acting like they don't want to be bothered or they, they're sick all the time. So these are different warning signs. Um, decline in quality of schoolwork. They used to be A students, now they flunk it or they're not even going to school at all, or even they're cutting out of school. Um, preoccupied with death and dying, now you hear me listening to songs about death, or they looking at a lot of movies about death and how to die and so on and so forth. Those are things that you need to look out, those are warning. 
Uh, they are more sexual and they vandalize and they, they're around people that are doing things that they usually don't do or around people that are out there um, vandalizing and they are, they are with them, which we know. If you know your, your, um, your child, you know they usually don't do this. So this, again, is a sign and symptom. Um, adolescents thinking about suicide may openly, suic may openly um, make a statement of suicide. Um, Tendencies such as I wish I was dead. I won't be a problem for you much longer. Nothing matters. I wonder how many people will come to my funeral. Everyone will be better without me. So if you hear someone saying this, they are definitely um, asking for help indirectly. Young people who are thinking about suicide may also stop planning for or talking about their future. Um, they may begin to give away important possessions. Um, I read something about suicide, um, and it's not just for adolescents, for people in general that commit suicide. One of the last things they usually do, if they already plan the date that they're going to suicide, the time, and how they're going to do it, they usually start giving away their possessions before they do it. So again, that's another one of the signs to look out for. These are um, hotlines for help for those that are thinking about it, a National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Uh, youth helpline, your your life, your voice, and this here, um, teen suicide prevention hotline. That's a that's a video, and if you go on to the um, the web, you will see that the video talks about uh, it talks about teenagers and parents being able to talk to each other about suicide, what signs and symptoms to look out for, what warning signs, what you can and cannot say or shouldn't say to a teen that's thinking about it. So it's a help for not just a teenager, but for parents as well. And friends. Um, suicide tendency, again, can be expressed verbally, psychologically, and physically. Um, and this is something I, again, found on Google. I thought was a really nice um, phrase. And this is something you might want to say to somebody that might be thinking about it. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are not alone. And that's all they need to know is that they're not, they're not alone and that somebody's going to be there to support them um, through this time that they're feeling this way. These are a few questions that I had um, wrote down. And let me see. One of the questions was, if you ask someone, have you thought about hurting yourself? And the answer is yes. Can you believe the answer? And the um, the answer to that question is, I would urge you to believe the answer. They are telling you they need help. So indirectly, they're asking you for help when they say something like this. And it doesn't increase someone's chances of committing suicide if you ask them. If they, you ask them directly, if that's the best thing that you can do. Be very direct when asking them, are you trying to hurt yourself? How are you feeling? How can I help? What can I do to support you? And one of the other last questions I wanted to um, talk about is this. Um, who, is at, who is at the greatest risk of committing suicide? No one is 100% immune to mental health conditions that can raise the risk of suicide. So it doesn't matter what your age is. Um, you can feel this way, but you also can get help. Um, I also wanted just to say that I have been in a situation where I knew someone that was going to commit suicide. She did come to me and told me how she was feeling and I sat down and I listened to her and together we got help for her. And that's the best thing you could do is just be there for someone. So I want to thank you. This is the end of my presentation. You have a blessed and safe day.